Hi, it's Johnny here. Today I'm going to be rearranging a few things around my tank, showing you my just a little bit of sand I got today. And I'm going to be answering one of the questions I've been asked proudly through messages, which is how much does my stuff cost? I also got new sand today, which I'll be able to tell you the price of how much that costs. And I got some reptile bulbs and stuff for that. So I'll just start with my question. Okay, so this is white reptile sand. And it's, it's good because it doesn't clump up into hard balls when it gets wet. And for five kilo bags, it costs eight dollars ninety-five for five kilo bags. Whereas you can go to other places and pay for a ten kilo bag for fifty-eight dollars. So I think that's really good. I've got I've used three of those, so paid twenty-seven dollars in white sand. And this is a red desert sand. Now, red the red desert sand is not very good for getting wet, so. I keep this is the dry area and that costs about $13 for a 5 kilo bag and then this pink sand is what I used to have in my tank and that cost about $7 for a bag of pink sand which was only 1.5 kilos so you see the bigger bags are actually cheaper when you think about it. Yeah. Um, a few things that I had a look at prices on how much it would cost. But I, prices so one of these this is a climbing home for hammer crabs would cost you about twelve dollars at a pet store that's what my pet store has so twelve dollars for one of these I'll just get everything out as I go one of these this is actually from like a kids toy thing these would cost you about five bucks it's just a toy tree. This is from a discount store and this would cost you say about five dollars. Um, this would be from a pet barn. This would cost you four dollars from pet barn. I've got three of them. These you get from the shops, it's actually for train decoration. This would cost you about four dollars. Three or four dollars depending on where you get it from. And this Gary statue would cost you about seven dollars at Pet Barn. Sorry. Yeah. And to make one of these, just buy a $10 packet of coloured kids clay and you can make about 20 of these in a packet, so yeah. Go down to about 5 cents. No, Ooh, not 5 cents. 50 cents, sorry. Okay. Um, have a look at these shower trays. These are about $5 each. I've got two. Two here. So this is one of these, which is a soap holder. I use it upside down in the sand as a fresh food. They can climb up and get fresh food. This would cost you about five dollars as well. This sits on the bottom. This corner tray would cost you about twelve dollars. I only have one of these. Um. Honey hearts would cost you about seven dollars, six dollars each. Probably the smaller one for six dollars, the bigger one for seven dollars. Um, I wasn't really sure how much the coconut fiber would cost, but I had a look online, and for the big pieces, it cost you about five dollars, and for the little pieces, about three dollars. But it different stores, different sites gives you different prices. Um, one of these at my local pet store would cost you about thirty dollars. This 
reptile dish would cost about eleven dollars. I've got two, so two of these for twenty-three dollars. And then these two would come in a two pack for sixteen dollars. Yeah, and that's basically all the accessories would cost. Uh, yeah, and I've got a Mamada and Hagoma. Um, today I bought some pretty important accessories that I need for winter. And this would be Reptile One Bulbs. I got a Night Bulb. As you can see, it's Night 50 Watt Bulb. And these cost you, depending on where you get it, I got it for $7.95 for a 50 watt bulb and they can go up to, I think it was 150 watts for $20. So, but, and then I got another one which is a day one and the day ones cost about, they cost the same but at a different pet store I went to when I went to get my guinea pig food I found that they were actually two dollars more expensive so these would cost $9.95 so where I got that at the same price different stores different prices um and these are what the bulbs look like this one looks blue but actually turns out the colors purple and this one gives out a sun light and these are both heat lamps so they're really good for winter um I don't have heat pads yet but I am buying some heat pads I just need a wait a little while I'm gonna get definitely getting more sand even though I've got a fair bit of sand in there now enough to burrow into and mold well should be because I've only got really small amount of crabs but I'm gonna get about two times the amount that's in here so that should be really good um I've also got just this desk lamp which you can get for like ten dollars and it's screwing lamp so these are screwing bulbs you can also get special pet light holders, as they were trying to tell me today, but we wanted to check if this kind of lamp would work first, and it turns out it works, so cheaper, because the big light things cost $40 just to hold a bulb that you have to pay for as well, so a bit off doing that. Okay, I thought I'd just do some redecorating really quickly, and show you the new redecorated tank. I'm changing up a little. I'm just moving stuff around because I thought it might be exciting just to change it just a bit. Make things a bit different as I haven't changed it in a little while. Ugh, sand stuck. Oh, it won't stick. Too much sand on the wall. Now the problem is when you get sand on the wall and you've got suction cups, you've got to make sure the suction cups are clean, the wall is clean. Um, oh, it's not sticking, but I will put a little hut under there, that way it does fall. Solid. I have to put that in after. Okay, that wasted a bit of time, but put water dishes in. I'm putting salt water one on top of the dry sand because this is my dry desert sand. And I'm putting salt water one down here because you can tell my sand's pretty turned off. Probably tell. So, then we've got one of this is my wet sand. Okay, this pink part here is going to be my basking area for the light. I'm going to get a heated basking rock, but they, they like sitting in the heat. It's kind of like lizards only. Little heart crab. Then, two water dishes. The fresh water dishes.
dishes. I'm only using two for dishes. So, just these two, it's just the same as the green one, same price, everything. One thing I forgot to price was the actual tank and stand and everything themselves. Um, the actual tank cost about 200 bucks, 200 dollars. That's the tank here. The stand, which is down there, I've got my hand power equipment on it, would cost you about 60 odd dollars with the lid on top, so, and they got fit to it, so it fits it properly. Um, because I don't have glass lid, I use cling wrap with sticky tape on it, and it keeps it in really well, so the humidity's been keeping above 80, which, I mean, it's really good, and the heat's been keeping on 80 exactly, so, well, 79, 80 exactly. Getting, I made this out of toilet paper roll. I cut it and then flex, just bend it out and then make a little tunnel. I'll be making some more so it's more interesting. Bring Gary in. And then probably put that just over here in between the wet and the dry. Okay. Ugh, big piece of driftwood. Well, pretty good size. I'm actually going to switch the position of this with the water bottle. The water bottle to it. I'm not really sure how I should set that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Just so they can choose how they want to climb it. Uh, little rock, a little, little plant. Sorry, I'm going to do this in a rush so I don't take too long for my video. Probably fix it up a little bit. But this is a pricing video, so I'm not really worried about setting up. Well, that is important. Yep. I will take priority. I'm actually going to move that. Nothing set in cement here. Not going to know. The other thing about this is that you can get it under the deep, like that. Not under the deep, under the shallow. And they can still come out and get their fresh food on it. You can really pack it out and dig in the, the, the food dishes and stuff. They can get to it. <laughs> Other than I need to struggle to get to it. And then scatter around the shells. I have a few shells in here. Um, one of my hermit crabs got attacked by the other crabs. I actually saw it happen to one of those pincers. He, um, Shishi, got attacked by Tank and Tank and Azrael, and he lost all his legs. And I tried to do the hen feeding and hen watering, but he gave up his fight. But I'm getting a new hermit crab, even though it's sad that I lost him. Getting a new hermit crab so that my two hermit crabs don't get used to living by themselves. That way, nothing happens to me anymore, hopefully. Okay. Now, this is 
is the tricky part because let's see if it'll stick. I really do doubt it will. But worth trying. First thing to do when it won't stick is wet your finger a little bit, tiniest bit. Dry it up just a tiny bit. On. That should stick. If you hold it there long enough, it should stick. Yep, seems to be working for me right now. Anyway. Nothing seems to be working right now. Like that one a little bit. Dry, dry. <sighs> Stick it there. This one sticks better. The other one has one loose sticky tab. So there's that one right there. Make sure it's clean and nice. This one's got a bit dirty. There we go. See how well this turns. There we go. Finally sticky after multiple attempts. Okay, once I've got that in, now it's time to put the jiffle in. Just to put a couple of sticks in. Put a little few sticks of jiffle now my sister wanted to burn these, but I called them for my hair cuts. She wanted to burn rainbow colours. And coconut. Yeah. Coconut fibers are good for climbing because it sets up a little like way of how to climb and it gives them back to where they they climb trees in the wild so it kind of makes them feel like they're at home in the, in the way you set up the tank. Now that one will lead to nowhere but it's interesting to see when climb sideways. And that's almost it. And because it's night time now, I'm going to put in my night ball. Now I've only got one lamp, but when I have two, I'll have the bulbs in each lamp and I'll have to move one down and one up. I put it bent over like that and then so it clamps itself on. And then turn it on and off. You wouldn't be really able to see that. Turn. You wouldn't be able to see it with this light on. Okay. And then that's basically it. I'm just going to quickly show you, because I'm going a bit over time, quickly show you what it looks like without the light. Huh? Ready? And you might be able to see it just a little bit. The light on. Yeah. It's not very visible unless you're actually here. And that's basically it.
this one's a bit more bright. You might have actually been able to see it. Um, I'll do another video when I get my heat pads and more sand and everything. So stay tuned on my, my video feed. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Thanks. Leave a comment or question or any ideas on want to do a video on. I'll do some more videos soon. Only they'll be with my other animals as I haven't really shown them in any videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.